What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We have had a chance to mess with the Mate 20 Pro for about a week or so now. And this phone is gorgeous. Everything that was been said about it has been for the right reasons. It lives up to the hype. And this is definitely one of the most tech pack phones of 2018. Recently, we've been using our OnePlus 6T. These phones actually are pretty comparable as far as screen size and all that. And it's really not a fair comparison to put these two up against each other just because literally the Mate 20 Pro is double the price of the OnePlus 6T. However, just because they have some similar features like the in-screen fingerprint sensors and the screen size themselves, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how these two kind of compare. Right off the bat, I will say OnePlus 6T's implementation of the fingerprint scanner seems to be a little quicker than it does on the Mate 20 Pro. They both work very, very well. I have to say the Mate 20 Pro build quality is phenomenal. It's off the charts. That twilight pattern that you saw on the back of this just really, really does great. Can't say enough about the accent and power button too. It's the little things on this device that really, really stand out. Aside from that, you can see OnePlus 6T's screen has no curvature to it, obviously. It is a flat display, whereas on the Mate 20 Pro, it does kind of curve at the edges. These are both 6.4 inches, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 6.4 inch displays. The Mate 20 Pro is technically, I think, 6.39, and this is exactly 6.4, but Tomatoes, tomatoes, comparable enough, and you can see the differences as well in the notch between these two devices. That is one thing definitely also in favor of the OnePlus 6T. Photo samples will be coming. I haven't had a chance to upload the video. If you guys are curious to see the Mate 20 Pro's camera in action against any other device, let me know. I will also be doing a camera comparison between the new um, Mate 20 Pro and the iPhone XS. Max as well. But aside from that, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see in the videos. As far as performance, this version of the OnePlus 6T has 8 gigs of RAM. The Mate 20 Pro only does have 6, both 128 gig storage. This is a dual SIM. This OnePlus is a T-Mobile model. It is a single. However, obviously you can get both uh, that do have dual SIM capabilities. Wireless charging, no wireless charging, reverse charging, not charging at all, aside from your standard um, plug. As far as speed to charge these devices, I have to say they are pretty close. This has a 40 watt charger uh, in order to get, I believe it's 80% battery in 30 minutes. It's just ridiculous how fast it charges. Definitely nice, definitely pretty sweet, but <clears throat> you cannot go wrong with either one of these phones. I do like, however, how this does have your always on display and the OnePlus 60 is kind of an ambient display. You have to tap or raise to wake. For those of you that follow the channel, you would have seen that I could not stop praising the P20 Pro, not the Mate 20, the P20. Uh, earlier in the year, that was my daily driver for a while. I'm looking forward to going back to this device and giving the Mate 20 a try as well. That is it for now, guys. Just wanted to show you guys a quick side-by-side -side comparison, see what you guys really thought about these two devices. You can see just how thin they both are. I do like how OnePlus kept this whole side plain and put all the buttons on the right-hand side as well. The camera module is unique. It stands out. Uh, I do like the look a lot. I was kind of concerned about it, but nothing to worry about, guys. Both devices, phenomenal. Let me know if you're going to be picking up one of these two below. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below, guys. Till next time.